Ace money to name, getting paper to gain. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E. We're handicappers, so it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. We got our Monday Night Football. We got Tampa Bay going into Kansas City. Play the Chiefs. Uh, Bucks are a diminished team. Beat down. A lot of injuries. It's a lot of teams dealing with injuries, but they got uh, quite a few. Um, a little stack comparison overall. As you see here, they're leading, the Bucks are leading a lot of offensive stuff. And Chiefs are leading the defensive stuff. But uh, it's a little, a little faulty because the last two weeks, the Bucks have lost two of their main receivers. Um, it's supposed to be pouring out, windy, rainy. So, uh, you know. Uh, could be a rough game. I mean, these these professional teams, they get pretty good at uh, dealing with these situations. But uh, as well as the Bucks, don't really have a run game. Uh, White's been – his numbers are like 24 yards. That's an embarrassment if you ask me. But he's been splitting the carries with Irving, Bucky Irving. Uh you know, so uh, low running yards. Uh, Kansas City got Hunt. Look for him to go over on his yards. Uh, you got a few player props. Just get into them. Bunch of key stats here if you want to scan through it. Uh, spreads at eight and a half. A nine and a half, I think, now for the Chiefs. Uh, yeah, let's get it. Uh, total 42, I believe. Let's get into these play props. So uh, they brought it down at 13 and a half, minus 110 on FanDuel. Uh, like I said, it's going to be rainy and windy as well as he's, I've seen him rush plenty of times, uh, you don't have his main receivers. He's going to be leading on Otten, I believe. They can't really run the ball. I believe uh, they're going to focus on defending Otten as well. Chiefs aren't that good at defending the tight end position, so he could have a big game, but I expect them to uh, try to cover Otten. Overall, rushing defense is good for the Chiefs, ranked second in the league. Uh, to the QB, they are ranked 22nd, giving up at least 25 yards, it's saying. So uh, I expect him to take off, whether his receivers get covered or whatever the case is. He ain't afraid to take off. Uh, averaging about three and a half attempts. Average yards per rush. Averaging 6.8 for the year. Uh, the number is kind of low. But uh, they got a great like run defense, like I said. So, but I expect them to go over it. All right, minus one ten. That's a fifty-two percent chance to hit. That's the odds with the percentage equals. And Mayfield has been going over this number sixty-three percent of the year. So you got eleven percent edge right there. Let's get it. Four and a half receiving yards over minus one ten. Uh, variations in books all the way up to minus 150. Uh, I got it on uh, FanDuel minus one. I think I got it for like 140, actually. Uh, Kansas City ranked 12th overall. Receiving yards ranked 13th. Uh, White's been getting plenty of uh, opportunities. He's cleared this a couple times, but his uh, receptions, especially the last two games, six receptions. Five receptions. Uh, he's only missed three passes the whole year. So he's definitely got good hands. Uh, not good at running the ball, like I said. So uh, those are ways to extend the run. Uh, once again, minus 110. 
It's a 52% chance. That's what that breaks down to in odds. And uh, for the year, he's at a 57% chance. So it's a little, little 5% edge. Uh, you know, this ain't Irving. has got a toe injury, which he's had. Uh, he should play. Uh, they got his receiving yards at 13 and a half. Uh, he's been clearing that as well the last couple games easily. I just feel like it's a trap. Like, I don't understand. It's kind of like that tight end for the uh, Ravens yesterday. They had his receptions at two and a half, and uh, I said it. I took it, and I fell for it and do it too. But um, I don't know. It's like they know something we don't. Uh, Rasheed White, let's get it. Rushing yards over 59 and a half. His number did go way down of 70. That last play, I realized the number started at 20, went to 24 a couple of days. Uh, maybe I'm wrong and I'm just reading it wrong. Maybe Irvin is the better play because it is only at like 15. But uh, that's the one I went with. But uh, Kareem Hunt, he's been clearing this since he got to the team. Just about, he uh, hooked it. Last game, it's going to be shitty out. Uh, Chiefs are used to that weather. I'm not worried about that. They'll be passing and shit. I just think it's going to be like the game, like over here versus New Orleans. They're going to be up, uh, just running the clock out. He's going to get some carries. Uh, I was thinking about playing his first half touchdown instead of his anytime touchdown because the odds are better. It's like plus 150. I think that's a good play. He has a lot of uh, a lot of first half touchdowns as well. Fucking computer's lagging already. Those are his first half touchdowns in four games, so could be a good play. But uh, yeah, I went with his rushing yards. Uh, overall, Tampa Bay, 19th rushing yards, 15th in a running back position. Uh, I outlined it back is what I did. I do have a 64 out of 59. Um, minus 140, that is 58.33% uh, chance. That's what the odds mean. And for the year, he's at 75. So that's like, what, 17, 16, 17 percent edge right there. All right, let's get it. Green Hunt. I was playing him first quarter over. They got it at 0.5 or sometimes like two yards. And usually the first set of downs, they uh, get him a pass. Uh, decided to go with him full game. Uh, last game it didn't cash. That's why I don't know. I just decided to stay away from it. Uh, receiving yards over twenty three and a half. Uh, it's cleared this a couple of times throughout the year. He gets a couple opportunities. Tampa Bay overall receiving yards ranked twenty ninth to the tight end ranked thirtieth. He's getting uh, quite a few receptions. He's only missed one pass this whole game, this whole year. Last two games, three, four receptions, four targets. He's caught every pass. Uh, everyone's on that Travis Kelsey. He's at like 60 yards. Uh, I believe uh, Gray's going to get a couple opportunities. Should go over it. Uh, he might even get in that end zone. Uh, 22 and a half. If you got any of them books. But uh, yeah, let's get it. No gray. Receiving yards over seven and a half. We got it on DraftKings. Uh, minus 115. Uh, overall, 29th receiving yards. Ranked 31st to the running back. Uh, you could look at Hunt, you know, he gets like one or two receptions if you wanted. His numbers are low too. 
But uh, Perrine for the year has cleared this uh, every time except for two. Uh, 30 yards, 22 yards, 24. A uh, couple of receptions. I guess the same as Hunt, actually. Think about it. Uh, you know, getting one or two chances. But uh, he usually goes over. He's exceeded seven and a half in 16 of his last 19 games. Uh, goes back to last year, obviously, and he was on a different team. But uh, he's been going over it. All them times. It's not like he gets a lot of opportunities either. I mean, that's all just last year. But, you know, a couple, one, two receptions, and he's going over it. But, I mean, the numbers are low, so. But, uh, yeah, so hopefully it still works. All right, if you could, hit that like button. New viewers, subscribe. And uh, let's turn this week around. It's been a bad week. Uh, Ace Money, the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.